Alrighty, I am here with Coach Gage Courtney. Coach, how big is this game for you, for the kids? For the kids, it's huge. Um, you know, they play Little League with these guys against them. They hang out. You know, it's a big rivalry, and they've owned it for a long time. Caldwell's a great program, great coaches, uh, great players, and, and it just whooped us for a long time. And these guys always want to be a team to break it since it's been going on, and that's what they've talked about all week. And I, I'm just extremely proud of them, how hard they played, just kept fighting, knew it'd come down the wire. We knew no matter what, this game was going to come down the wire this week, and we kept fighting until the final whistle. It, it did. We needed every last second. They're a good football team, very well coached, and we respect them a ton. Now, what did you do in particular, anything special you did this week to prepare for this game, to keep, to keep, uh, to keep attitudes in check, things like that? Well, we just talked to them about, you know, Playing with emotion, but not being emotional. That's what we just keep saying all week. Just wanting to play hard. We know that they're going to be up for this game. We ain't got to give them no pep talk, nothing. They're going to be ready to play, but just the mouth and the fighting back and forth, the bickering, all those things is what we got to talk about. Just because it's such a heated rivalry and these kids know each other, and it gets it gets like that sometimes, and I understand. So nothing more than just talking to them consistently about what was expected and, and how to handle that. Now, um of course, I just had the final from Union County Murray come in. I know you guys have got Union County in two weeks. Anything that you're going to do this week with during an off week? I mean, we got to get healthy. Uh, by far, number one thing. I mean, there's definitely things we got to work on. It's time to like work on situations. Like we blocked the pun and jumped on it because we don't know we haven't worked that situation yet. When anytime it's blocked, we need to recover it and go score. So small situational stuff it gives us time to work on that. But most of all, getting healthy. We're banged up. I mean, banged up, banged up. So that's going to be the number one priority. A lot of rehab, getting healthy, and maybe working a lot of mental things, situations, stuff like that. Now, tonight, and I will. I will tell you this. Uh, you'll you'll figure it out here in a little bit. Yeah. First half of the ball game, Union County against Murray. They had the ball a minute and 59 seconds and scored 28 points. Who? Union? Union County. Yeah. Union County is a really good football team because Murray is a good football team, which I have no idea to score or anything. They're both good football teams. But Union County is, is, bad. <laughs> is a really, really good football team. I mean, their weapons are – some of the best of Western Kentucky, if not. I mean, that is a that is a tough, tough football team. Anything you're going to do in particular to prepare for that game? I mean, because you know, like I say, you got two weeks really. Yeah. Other, other than just healing up and, and right. get to, getting to feeling better. Yeah. Anything that you got? Honestly, um, probably focus on ourselves this week. That's what's most important, and just play it like a regular week the next week. So we won't be looking forward to Union County this week, probably. Maybe a little bit. Coaches, obviously, we'll kind of get a head start on all the breakdowns and our game plans. But our kids, we need to get better at what we do and get healthy. That's what we'll focus on. There you go. Well, Coach, I'm going to let you get out of here. Go celebrate this one this week, we bud. appreciate it. And uh, we look forward to talking to you again this year. Yes, sir. Thank you.